Well, hello and welcome to the channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified, guys. So happy, happy Monday to the Boss Buddy crew. I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. Listen, we are doing a video today um, where I have already constructed two or designed two different gift baskets with the exact same items in it but i have both of them set up a totally different way um but i wanted to bring awareness to a question that continues to come up for all of my new subscribers or for people that are new to the gift basket business okay so the question comes up with what type of gun is this this is an actual heat gun guys a heat shrinking gun and this actual gun was given to me um, by one of my subscribers, okay? This gun works amazing, but I got to tell you that you got to have a little bit of experience. You're probably going to burn a couple bags in the process of learning how to use this. It has excessive heat, okay? Excessive heat. I'm going to be selling these pretty soon on my website, so you guys stay in tune. I'll be letting you know when. That's one of the items if you're watching some of my older videos you're going to see this actual blow dryer being used in these um videos that i were making can you use a hand blow dryer absolutely like i said if you're what you've watched some of my older videos or you've been following me for a while then this is what you saw you didn't recently see this until just a couple months ago okay both of them works really really great um, both of them can burn a hole in your bag, but you are less likely to burn a hole in your bag with the blow dryer. Now, you will also hear on some of my older videos me say that the blow dryer works absolutely fine. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. And guess what, guys? It does work absolutely fine. But once I got experience with this heat gun, it does seem to shrink it a little bit more. So what we're going to do is do a test on this video so that I can show you guys firsthand, up close and personal, what each bag looks like. And you can decide for yourself whether you want to use, you don't have to buy this particular hair dryer. Let me see if it tells how many wattage, what the wattage is on this dryer. Um, 1875. So the watts is 1875. Um, as long as it's somewhere around there. Now I have used a blow dryer before that did not work properly because it wasn't hot enough. So if you are using a hand blow dryer, you're going to have to use it on high more than likely, unless you just have a very forceful and powerful hand blow dryer. But the first test, we're gonna be using the hand blow dryer, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like, and I'm also gonna show you what it looks like with the actual heat, heat shrinking gun, okay? And we're gonna start at the bottom. We have the blow dryer all the way on high. We're starting at the bottom like we always do. You don't have to, but it's, it's pretty much best that we do. y'all i had the bottom tape down and it came a loose so let's take that back up under the bottom the bag was just a little bit too big okay Always hold, if you have it up top pulled, always hold the part that is your bow is attached to, hold it out of the way so that it don't shrink as well, okay? We want to keep the appearance to that without it being shrunk. I'm going to lift it under and make sure we get the bottom. 
Of course, if I wasn't videoing, I would be picking it up, holding it, or something at the bottom. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it that way, okay? Okay, y'all, so here is the actual blow dry look, and you guys seen it first hand and up close and personal. It's really, really firm and fitted as it was on all the videos that I did when I was actually using that. Now we're gonna go with the heat gun, guys. I'm still not a perfectionist with this gun, but I have learned how to, um, to use it, okay? It has different dials and um, a digital temperature up here, okay? I haven't figured out how, to, I know how to play around with it because it has a minus and a plus, but I really don't know what I should be using it on, okay? And all heat guns are different. It's so many different brands, all of them are different, okay? But I can tell you, your hand has to be steadily moving. Some people use the Lazy Susan. I just spin it around from place to place. If you can afford you one or get you one, I can afford it, I just haven't bought one. But if you can't afford it, it's no problem. Just hey, you just have to spin it around with your hand. But if, and I just made a hole with my thumb, y'all. It wasn't the hot glue gun. I pushed out with my um, nail. But we can fix that with no problem. You have to make sure you're not getting it real close to the bag because if you do, it will definitely, this thing is scorching hot, it will burn you, okay? I will say that the blow dryer is safer. I will say that. There's nothing to be afraid of though if you do happen to purchase one, but you do have to be careful. Okay. And it takes that a minute to cut off once you turn it on. Okay. So, this is the one that's done with the heat gun. Same firmness, same professional look. So, I'm going to let y'all choose and judge, okay? Now, I will say, like I said, that the heat gun gives it a little bit more firmness because you see right here where I had the excess, excess baggage at. Now, I'm going to show you how the actual um, shrink wrap gun would have done this. Sometimes it get a little bit more wrinkles out than what your blow dryer may. Not much, but it will give it a little bit of difference. And this buckle wouldn't be here if I had this little buckle in the bag wouldn't be here if the tape hadn't came loose. Because it was tucked under the bottom, but because the because it came loose, it gave it a little bit of buckle there, but nothing abnormal, okay? So I wanna let you guys know, whether you have a blow dryer, whether you have the heat shrinking gun, you can make your baskets look really, really professional with either or. Like I said, if you choose the heat gun, you're going to have to be very careful and you're gonna to have to play around with it until you get it, okay? So you may mess up a couple of bags, um, but other than that, you should be fine. And I gotta go in and repair the little small hole that I made in the back with my fingernail, okay? Always use transparent tape. And someone asked, this is Dollar General, um, I think it's called Office Hub, but I get it from Dollar General. It's two rolls on a pack for a dollar, and it works fairly well. You know, I'm sure some other type of tape that maybe works better, but this works fine. I've never had an issue with it. Um, it works perfectly fine. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to do a little test to show you guys everything that you see in these baskets came from the Dollar General Purple Dot um, 
sale. This coffee actually came from Dollar General. I paid a penny for it. The only thing that didn't come from Dollar General is this Bath and Body Works hand soap that you see here. And I paid $2 for that at the outlet. But um, the tray, the little box, everything except for the beautiful yellow um, um, towel linen that you guys see, that was actually a part of when my boss buddy sent me the gift yesterday and i hope you guys saw that i think i'm gonna do a video on that showing the beautiful gift that she had designed for me um she had it wrapped up in these table linens and y'all know boss lady fee recycles everything so i was like i'm gonna use that as a lining in my little baskets um for today so i hope you guys like this video if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye-bye.